Hey everybody, it's Morgan with your Theorem Cell Vault uh, 6.75 long term torture test review update. Uh, sorry, I cracked my foot uh, just before the six month review, so I'm a little behind. Uh, you can see she's uh, totally submerged in some snow and ice. Give me a couple minutes, I got to set up for a couple other things because uh, I had a nice chat with uh, Andrew Fraser, the CEO of Theorem, who asked me to do a couple things for him. Uh, because as he stated, uh, my test parameters are way outside of what they do. So hang in there. I'll be right back. Thanks. Okay, so I had to get out my towel, my isopropyl alcohol, because uh, Andrew wants some uh, really good pictures, wants me to dry the thing out on the inside. Uh, hang on. It's uh, just about time to dig this thing out of the ice and uh, see what's going on. Stay tuned. All right, let's get in there and see uh, what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ooh, fantastic. Let's see. She's dirty. No uh, visible cracks on the body. Definitely some uh, some fantastic icy ice on the paracord. I'm going to... Uh, uh, hang on. I don't know what I'm going to do. Give me one second to compose my... All right, I figured it out. I'm just going to move the towel over here. So, oh, let's see what we got. Okay, so there's definitely moisture around the O-ring. Absolutely. Give me that goofy thing. Come here. Really? Hmm. Hmm. It's a problem with using toilet paper. There we go. So that is still wet. But surprisingly, there's a lot less moisture on here. I don't know if it's because it's been actually well below zero. We've been having a lot of, we actually got some snow and everything in the past couple months. It's been below zero at night. Um, yeah, but surprisingly, there doesn't seem to be any more. That is definitely wet. So let me get the alcohol out. We'll dry bad boy out. And we'll get ready in. I do have some more TP. I'm not going to fill it right up. Uh oh. So we'll get that in there. Ah. I'm going to close this. Snappy snap. Give it a shaky shake. Okay, there's some junk around the O-ring. I promised I'd make sure that was nice and clean. I'm pour the leftover alcohol out. I gotta find my TP. Got some fresh stuff in the name of science. I do. Clean all around here. That looks good to me. There's a bit of junk by the old ring, not a lot. Okay. Body's still in good shape. No uh no cracks or anything. Looks like it's dealing with uh, the cool temperatures alright. <laughs> Okay, hang on, let's get some more TP for to put inside. Dry my hand off so it's not to skew the results of this highly scientific experiment. Okay, so now I still gotta dry the top of the seal off. Set the lid off. Let the sun work its magic. No soggy spots. The thing's probably going to sweat a little bit because it is cold. I think what I'm going to do 
Got a fresh round of TP in there. At least if nothing else, I have three squares when I come out here. Close that up, good seal. Top looks all right. Uh, I gotta take some pictures from Andrew, but other than that, uh, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to wait and see what the, the spring does to this thing. Uh, winter's basically been canceled out here. So uh, it's above zero right now, it's two degrees, but it's still below at night. Uh, the weather's been really goofy. But uh, I am looking forward to see what happens in a month. i got to take some pictures for Andrew and bury this thing. Uh, thanks for following along, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Now i got to find my phone and turn this off. Okay, thanks, everybody. See you in a month. Maybe sooner. Who knows? I'm back. Okay, everybody, let's talk about the, like, five- to seven-minute conversation I had with Andrew Fraser, CEO of Theorem Products. Uh, so if you see the five-month review, you'll see that there's an actual... Thing from theorem there it says hey you know shoot us an email let us know what's going on so i did and andrew got back to me i didn't know he was ceo at the time until i got his email and said ceo theorem products i'm like oh cool guy actually cares so i dialed him up on the friday and we chatted and he's down to earth and he actually cares about his product which is really nice because he's like hey what's going on and i said hey you know you know i'm leaving this thing outside for 365 days a year hot cold wind rain snow everything and uh, every time I go out there, there's moisture in it. He's like, okay. And so he asked me to do a couple things. He asked me to put some alcohol in it and dry it out in the name of science. And uh, he asked me to take a bunch of good pictures, which I just did. And uh, whatchamacallit. And the thing is, he really cared. Because he actually thanked me for doing real-world testing. right? Because I'm not just like, yeah, I've got it on the table. I put batteries in it. Whoa, it works. Go buy me. No, I had faith in this product when I saw it. I, I was looking for something to carry my fire rod and some tinder on my knife other than like a battery holster, or not a battery holster, but a flashlight holster. And I was like, that's perfect. It'll keep the stuff dry, you know, it keeps it there. It works with the molly that's on my knife. It was reasonably, reasonably priced, even though like two of them still cost me like 60 bucks Canadian with shipping, but it is what it is, right? So he thanked me for that, and that was pretty much pretty awesome because nobody thanks you for anything. Like the people at Live Fire Gear thank me for testing the snot out of their stuff, but again, it's awesome. So we chatted for a couple minutes, and uh, the deal we came up with is we're going to let the test run its course, so it's going to stay out here until July of 2017. Uh, I'm going to continue to shoot video, continue to take pictures. Uh, as I said, I just took a bunch. I'm going to send those to Andrew so he can take a look at them. They're trying to figure out if it's uh, defective, made on a Friday, who knows, right? Um, but then once the 365 days up, it's going back to Theorem so that uh, Andrew and uh, his elite team there can take a look at it, figure out if there is an issue with it. And uh, we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do once it goes there. He said he wanted to send me two regular cell vaults. I'm like, why don't you send me an XL and we'll start all again. We had a bit of a giggle. But other than that, uh, down-to-earth guy who actually cares about his product. And uh, you know what? As I said, the one on my knife works great. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. And Andrew, I should have those pictures to you by the end of Monday. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye.